Just tough talk tweets and apologies coming from Uganda. And on a sad note, the death toll from the deadly Ebola virus in Uganda has risen to 29, according to the World Health Organization. Kenya has been on the high alert since the outbreak with heightened surveillance to ensure the virus does not cross the border. And even though a few suspected samples have been analyzed and found negative, Kenyans have been cautioned not to relax their guard, especially now because the country is still recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic. NTV's Helena Ura spoke with the Kenya Medical Research Institute about the level of preparedness. The air in the Center for Viruses Research at the Kenya Medical Research Institute in Nairobi is heavy with a pungent smell. And with good reason given the nature of work that goes on here and the chemicals used. As soon as I walk in, Dr. Samuel Hamadi, who is the director for virus research at Kemri, takes us through the safety procedures to follow while inside. Ebola is dangerous, he says, and we must therefore not touch anything. Ebola is highly contagious, and though it is spread through body fluids, chances are that if you greet somebody who is infected, uh, or in close contact with somebody who is infected, that you can actually get infected with the virus. Ebola was first diagnosed in 1976 in the now Democratic Republic of Congo. Since Uganda announced an outbreak on September 11th, Kenya has increased surveillance at its borders. The virus has six strains, Zaire, Bundibugyo, Sudan, Thai Forest, Rustin and Bombali, with four strains affecting human beings. Sudanese strain is is it has a very high mortality so that if you are infected with that strain then chances of dying are very high ebola testing is done in a similar manner to covid 19. the only difference being the antigens used and while covid 19 is a nasal and mouth test ebola is a blood test since ebola is highly contagious and we we actually handle the samples a bit with a lot of more care we handle them in what we refer to as the biosafety level 3 laboratory. So we decontaminate the samples there and then we are able to do extraction and do PCR knowing that we have actually, we, we have actually made the, the virus not virulent, it, it's not infectious. Ebola spreads through human-to-human -human transmission via direct contact through broken skin or mucus. Some of the signs and symptoms of Ebola include fever, fatigue, muscle pain, persistent headaches, vomiting, diarrhea, body rush, and hemorrhage. At the moment, 20 counties in Kenya have been placed on high alert as infections continue to rise in Uganda. Unlike other viruses, the Ebola virus has been proven to have high mortality rate. This is because the virus attacks vital organs of the body, thus leading to hemorrhage. Helen Aura, NTV.